Hey everybody, it's me Thirteen. Welcome back to Let's Play Wii Sports Resort. In the last episode, we uh, continued playing uh, Island Flyover, and we did stuff. I believe we talked about my eighth grade. And in this, and what was going to be this episode, we talked about um, my opinion in uh, uh, music. And, um, there we go, but my camera battery died, uh, and I have no idea when it did, so I just got the recording, um, and I, all I know is that I did some stuff, uh, uh, at night, and I don't think we really need to cover what I got, because I don't remember what I got, but anyways, on the topic of music, um, um, one of my favorite, I guess, one, uh, we should start with the fact that one of my favorite artists is, uh, Lady Gaga, uh, you know, um, the funny thing is, uh, is that, uh, a lot of things that I really like, um, uh, right now, or a lot, uh, at one time, um, I used to really not despise them. I, like, uh, take Lady Gaga. I, uh, originally back in 08 didn't like her because, um, uh, of, uh, I didn't like her because of, uh, the, uh, I thought, uh, the, uh, Gaga name was a little too baby-ish, I guess. Um, but now, um, I really like her, I really like her music, and, um, um, it took, uh, watching what is argu uh, arguably one of the worst, um, uh, uh, representations of a book, uh, as a mov uh, movie, uh, Percy Jackson and the Olympians to, uh, like Lady Gaga, because Poker Face, uh, which I had never heard of before, uh, heard, uh, heard before, I heard, I heard, had heard of it before, uh, was playing during the casino scene. Uh, other artists that I typically have, that I, uh, didn't grow up with liking, uh, let's see, Rihanna, um, uh, and all, uh, before, uh, basically I knew, the way that I knew her before was as, uh, the, uh, woman who, uh, uh, had bad taste in boyfriends, uh, as of 09, and you know who I'm talking about, Chris Brown, uh, intent, wink wink, nudge nudge, um, but, uh, once I had got Just Dance 2, which has SOS, uh, I really started to like her, especially her early works like, uh, A Girl Like Me and, uh, Good Girl Gone Bad. Um, um, however, I have to say the exact opposite, uh, occurred for me with, uh, Carly Rae Jepsen. Um, I first heard, uh, Call Me Maybe during a... I can't remember where I heard it, uh, it was, uh, I can't say, uh, I can't remember, uh, oh well, well anyways, um, I actually really like it, I really like, um, uh, uh, Carly Rae Jepsen as a singer, uh, I really like, uh, uh, mostly synth pop and bubblegum pop, um, uh, but, uh, which, uh, by the way, has a lot of, especially with, uh, Call Me Maybe, uh, Good Time, uh, This Kiss, um, and plus, uh, she's from my neck in the woods, um, I don't live in Canada, but, um, I'm an American, but, uh, my area of the U.S. is close to where she grew up, um, of course, that isn't just, of course, 
not the fact that I like the bubblegum doesn't mean necessarily mean that that's the only music I like. Uh, I really like. Um, I, I have. Uh, I'm not really that big on DJ electronic music. Uh, like uh, uh, Dead Mouse, I think. I used to call it Dead Mouse Five, but I uh, don't know if I'm pronouncing it right there either. Um, but uh, anyways, uh, one of uh, I really like uh, the uh, house club '90s feel of uh, Lady Gaga's "Born This Way." I I kind of see why some people might not uh, like don't like the album, but I personally do. Um, I'm just gonna see what how many what uh, I need to get in sunset mode. Okay, four stars. Um. Um. I don't know what to. I don't know what to say. Um. Okay, so tennis courts. Okay, so the hotel area I haven't gone to. Um. Okay, again. Uh. So. Um. I really. I really like. Uh. Born This Way, the album. Um. I already said that. Um. I guess. Uh. Well, I have to say. Uh. I. Given that I already said that I don't like, uh, uh, the electronic music, um, uh, I was very surprised that, uh, a, um, track on the album, which I bought, um, at, what was it, a, uh, library sale, uh, they were, uh, or friends of the library, um, uh, for, Something of that nature, I think it was, uh, I don't know what it was. Uh, but anyways, uh, I bought the album, and, um, uh, one of my favorite tracks is, uh, a house trance, um, uh, uh, blend, uh, called Heavy Metal Lover, and, um, uh, I've already said this before, but I was very surprised that I uh, find that I liked it. Um, but there's something about it that I just I'm so fascinated by. But um, anyways, um, uh, one uh, band that I found uh, that I really like, but um, I didn't, uh, that I've just started to really become, become a really big fan of, uh, is Coldplay. Um, I started to, uh, I found, uh, out that, uh, they had some nice songs, uh, during a, uh, chorus class, uh, at my school. Uh, we had, um, a boy in my class, um, play um, on the piano because he's really talented and uh, he played a song that I really liked but I didn't know what the title was uh, so I asked people what it was and they said it was uh, Clocks um, and I asked them what, who it was by and they, say, they, they said Coldplay and uh, so I went on iTunes and uh, I bought uh, it off of A Rush of Blood to the Head, and um, since then I've become a really big fan. Um, personal comments on each of the on the albums. Uh, Parachutes I don't know much about, but it's a pretty good debut album, very acoustic sounding, uh, but also very uh, genre sounding, uh, alt rock sounding. Um, a Rush of Blood to the Head, uh, definitely a great album, uh, very, uh, piano riff and guitar riff heavy, especially with, uh, Fox and Politic, 
uh, I also have um, uh, the scientists, whereas uh, for uh, parachutes, I just have yellow. Um, um, X and Y and Viva La Vida or Death and All His Friends. That wasn't cumbersome at all to say Viva La Vida or Death and All His Friends. Um, I, uh, were, uh, my, are my favorite, uh, Coldplay albums. Uh, X and Y, uh, Fix You is, uh, very surprisingly hopeful and, uh, very, I really like it a lot. There's Still Kingdom Come, which is a secret track, a hidden track, I think, uh, which I also like. But my favorite song off the album is, uh, my favorite song off the album is, uh, 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 Speed of Sound, because, uh, of the, uh, motif that it has about, um, you know, um, searching for nature, the searching in nature to find the answers to your questions about the universe. Um, and then for v, uh, VLV, um, there's, uh, uh, of course, Viva La Vida, uh, which is a very good art rock and baroque pop, uh, art rock and baroque rock, uh, song. Um, then there's Violet Hill, uh, which I believe, which I plan on buying tonight, um, after I've recorded everything. Um, and then there's also, um, uh, what I, uh, found out to be the fifth most relaxing song in the world, Strawberry Swing. Um, it's very, up it's a very uplifting song, um, it's interesting that it's about nostalgia, um, and, uh, I just really like it. And then, of course, there's, uh, Myla Xylido, which, um, uh, I guess you could call it a standalone album, um, mostly because it's more poppy than, uh, all the other albums. Uh, but that isn't to say that it's, uh, bad. I actually like, um, Charlie Brown and, um, Princess of China, definitely. Um, uh, I guess that's it for this video. Um, I will see you in the next video. Bye.